Oh good, we have popcorn coming from the sky. What have you been up to? I've been riding on a daydream. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out RV Daydream. Not really popcorn coming from the sky, but uh, it's starting to fly a little bit, a little bit of snow. Uh, we have some snow in the forecast for tomorrow. Not so much today. This is not going to do anything. Um, it is windy and uh, the wind chill is about 12 degrees right now and I'm uh, doing my Johnny come lately <laughs> that is taking the battery out of the camper and putting the cover on the RV here's the RV cover I did a video on this in the past I'll put a link up above here in the cards you can click that if you want to see uh, my thoughts on that but we're going to uh, try to get this thing on the camper and there's a couple of things that I neglected to do this year. Uh, one of them is wash the camper. You can see that's bad. I mean, it's just plain dirty. Uh, the bad part about that is uh, with this cover on, it's going to rub on the paint. I didn't get a chance to wash it. And one of the reasons, it, even though it's a poor reason, is because my pressure washer, the pump finally failed on it. And I decided not to buy a new pump for it quite yet. So the camper's dirty, not not filthy, but it's dirty. It's much dirtier than it was last year. Last year, um, if you remember, we went on that camping trip and I drove through some mud and it slung it up on top of the camper and then it was warm enough, it was 70 degrees, that I decided just to wash the whole camper. And then in the spring of this year, when I opened it up, I was saying how nice it was. I was glad that I washed it well. It's not going to be that nice this time. So, uh, apologize for the wind if that's coming through on the microphones because the wind is pretty brutal out here. So I'm going to try to hurry up and cover this up. And the reason is, is because the top is dry. It's not wet up there. Um, all the rain has subsided to the point where we don't have anything uh, puddled or anything like that. So um, everything is dry. Even though this thing's breathable, um, and there's the cover there. You can see what it looks like. Well, it's on its side. <laughs> it's not a good idea to trap water up there to start with. I mean, it just makes it that much harder to evaporate. I've got some uh, foam pieces that I put over this, uh, some like pool, no pool noodles. <laughs> and uh, there's another bracket on this side that I have to cover up here or uh, take off that bracket there for the door. That's not such a big deal. And then we'll be able to cover this thing up. I'm going to have my son come out here and help, but I told him just to stay inside until I was ready for him because, again, it's 12 degrees, and I am really behind on everything. One of the reasons was I had to install a new uh, oven, uh, our poor old oven, after many years. Um, it finally was acting up to the point where we decided to get rid of it. The, the broiler hadn't worked for quite a few years, and although it was a good oven, and we didn't really want to have to buy a new oven because... Obviously, we're not going to be in this house, you know, but for another six more years. Uh, but then again, we don't know what we're going to do with the house. <laughs> we're, uh, we, we went ahead and got a new one. So this one's going to have to be retired. Uh, give it away, whatever the case may be. I will have to, uh, I had to drag this thing out here with that hand cart. And man, I'll tell you what, I am not as strong as I used to be. It, it took me a little bit to get it out here. So... What a disaster. But I am definitely behind. I don't have the plow on my tractor yet. And again, we're going to get about one to three inches here, I don't know, in a couple days. I'm not too concerned about it. I mean, it has to be six inches or more for us to have issues, you know, getting in and out of the driveway. But uh, I like to have the plow on. That way I can keep up with it because it does make it really difficult if you let it get to six inches and then try to plow. So let me get to work and uh, we'll see how easy this goes or not.
So that wasn't horribly bad. <laughs> I'm a little bit winded. Uh, our ground's so uneven, that made it a little bit harder to use that ladder. But the uh, thing needs to be secured still, and I have to still take care of that sharp edge. One thing with these covers you have to be concerned with is sharp edges. It does not like edges at all. So like the bumper, uh, I got a sharp edge over here. I'm going to have to take care of it. Uh, this edge right here, I have to put some tape or something on it so this thing can go over it. I could leave the bumpers exposed. Maybe I'll do that. I don't know. Um, but it's real nice. These things, you know, the flaps come over and then they secure. Of course, I'll tighten them to make them a little bit more snug. But the cover, for the most part, will stay on. It has some toss bags uh, that you throw underneath the camper so you can get these latches here. The straps are on the other side. Sorry about the wind again. It's really windy today. Um, although the truck in the garage is blocking most of it. Yeah, it's a good cover. I, I really like it. Again, the video, the, the link will be in the description or actually the cover. I guess I'll put the link in the description for the cover if you guys want to go look at it. Um, this is the second season. It shows a little bit of wear. And uh, I'm sure that like most, I read a lot of reviews. These things aren't meant to last, you know, five years, ten years, nothing like that. Although, you know, they're, they're relatively expensive considering. Um, they do a good job. Now, of course, if you're full-timing, <laughs> you don't need this. But I'm really glad that I've got it. it. Last year, last winter, the cover, it's amazing. I mean, it, it kept everything dry and secure. And we had some really bad wind that came through here. And, I mean, this thing didn't even move. Um, it's just a good design. So let me go ahead and button up again uh, the sharp edge that's underneath here right here uh, for the flagpole. I'll just unzip the pocket here and uh, put a cushion over it and then uh, cushion some other stuff. But man, I really like this cover. Bruce, if you're watching, thanks again. <laughs> Alright guys, we'll come back in just a couple seconds and uh, We'll uh, yeah, let you see what this thing looks like all buttoned up. Well, you can see some snow came through, and I was inside editing videos and realized that I didn't show you guys the cover <laughs> and what it looked like. So I went over the tongue, something I, or over the tanks and the battery, something I haven't done in the past uh, last year. So we'll see how that works out. Man, that snow's starting to blow around again. It's definitely cold out here. But the uh, cover, I, I like the way that it fastens. Um, it's pretty secure. You can see there's a lot of wind um, that circulates up underneath and out these pockets that are up top here. Uh, these are screens that are inside here, just like little screen windows. So everything circulates really well. Now each one of these, you can see there's a zipper. You can z unzip this and roll it up. And then there's Velcro straps that are on the inside that will hold the roll which makes that really nice to get in there if you want to you know it, get you inside the camper during the winter which I will I'll be in there a few times okay I don't know how much winds around this corner but we'll check see what it looks like back here uh, all I did was use an ice cream bucket an ice cream pail and I slid it over the bumper um, on this side where that little sharp edge was and all this is tightened and uh, man the winds really strong on this side I'm sure you're gonna hear it now I'll try to block you with my body <laughs> but yeah this is uh, this is gonna do real well like I said with as strong as the wind is you can see it don't really move that much and I didn't need to put my wheel covers on because this thing covers up the tires for the most part and it's really nice I mean this allows wind to get up underneath and you know up and circulate on the roof I don't know if you can tell but the roof is kind of bulging up there when the wind blows you know, so there's air circulating, and that's the key factor there. So let's uh, take a look at this from a little bit further away. Whew, got hit with snow. See how the uh, air is circulating underneath there? I mean, it's basically the wind going over top um, that is allowing it to uh, pull it up or pick it up. But, yeah, it's, it's doing a good job there. As always, I hope to see you out there. Not in the snow, but out there. Bye.